Today we're going to be talking about two to three week old chicken care. Hi, my name is Melina and welcome to my channel DIY Your Life where my family and I literally DIY just about everything around us. Be sure to click the subscribe button below so that way you never miss a video. The first thing I want to say to all you chicken tenders out there is good job. You have gotten through the hard part of food, water, figuring all that out, where are you going to put the chickens, what kind of bedding are you going to use, how are you going to keep them safe and warm, to, all right, we got this, our chickens are living, they're doing good, they're eating, they're drinking, they might be hardy little creatures. Now that you've got them this far, we're going to keep this momentum going. Let me teach you how to care for your two to three week old baby chicks. I like to change my bedding in my coop at least once a week. I use medium pine shavings. I find that it keeps the chickens warm and dry. I know a lot of people have different opinions on the types of bedding that you should use for chicks. In my opinion, you should listen to everything that everyone has to say and then make the best decision that's economical for your family. If you guys like pine shavings, use pine shavings. If you guys like sand, use sand. If you guys like straw, use straw. There really is nothing wrong about the type of bedding that you choose. Now, when it comes to food and water, at two to three weeks, you're going to have to make a few changes. The food and water dish needs to be about back height for them. And so what I do at this point, so I have my feeder and my little dog dish that it sits in to eliminate waste. And then I have put a block in here, like a, like a paving stone. And then that is what I sit the food dish on top of. And then for the water, I just have a bowl that I turned upside down and I have set it on the water on that. And this elevates them a little bit because the chicks are bigger now and they um, cannot be going down eating all the time. They really need to have their food and water dishes at back height. We started our chicks off at 95 degrees to 90 degrees whenever they first came home. We, have, we are decreasing the temperature with our light about five degrees a week by moving the light away from the chickens, either up or back. And at this point, between two and three weeks, you want your chickens to have anywhere between 90 and 80 degrees, so Fahrenheit. So make sure that your light is appropriately placed and your chicks are not too hot. Chicks are starting to become very social at this age, which is really wonderful for us chicken tenders because we put so much time and love and care into these chicks that we really like it whenever we see a little bit of return back from them. The chicks are starting to develop a pecking order. They are chirping to each other, and that's how you know they're happy. If your, chir if your chicks are squawking or having real high chirps, then there might be a problem, but if he or she is admitting soft, soothing little cheep, cheep, cheeps at you. You have some happy chickens. At this point, I would continue using your medicated chick food. I usually don't switch my chickens off of that until they're much older. So continue buying the same feed that you've been using. Also, I don't know if we've talked a lot about chick grit, but I put a little bit of this in a separate dish or in like one of the little areas of my chicken feeder so that way my chickens can access it whenever they need it and it helps with digestion. And it's really important to continue giving your young chicks this at this age. One more thing that is really cool about taking care of two to three week old chicks is that they can start to go outside now. If it is October here in Illinois and quite chilly out, so these babies are not going to be able to go and forage and do all the fun things that, like if you had got them in the summer. However, start letting your chicks out whenever the temperature is no less than 70 degrees. I would start with maybe one to two hours at first. Keep them in your chicken run or in an enclosed area. 
Do not let them buy the rest of your flock. Um, if they are by your flock, they need to be separated and secure so that way your bigger chickens don't attack, attack the smaller ones. So just make sure that you keep an eye on them while they're outside. So what tips do you have for other chicken tenders like yourself that are raising chickens around two to three weeks? Do you have any tricks that you do at home that you think would help other people? Please share your thoughts and your comments down below. Now don't forget to subscribe to my channel, DIY Your Life. Hit the little bell icon so you never miss a video. Give this one a thumbs up, share it with all your chicken tender friends, and I will see you in the next vid. And here we are at DIY Your Life. We do everything from crafts to cleaning, organization, homesteading. We literally, my family and I, DIY everything around us. Please be sure to join our journey by clicking the subscribe button and then the little bell icon so that way you're notified whenever we produce a new video.